Jason, the Barn Beast, and today I'm going to try natural thermogenics. I was commenting to somebody about how many calories I was burning during the 100 mile snowshoe, and they're like, well, it was because your body was keeping warm as well as working out. And then somebody else brought up uh, thermogenics and the work of this one athlete. I will post his information in my blog. I believe his, his book was The Four Hour Body. Um, he, instead of taking thermogenics, which is a, a pill to boost your metabolism and burn more calories, he would freeze his body before working out um, so that he burnt the calories of the workout plus the calories of warming up, uh, thus replicating thermogenics without putting impurities in the body. I think I'm going to give it a go um, because it sounds like a good idea. I do not recommend it. I have never tried it. I do not know if it's safe. I think it's pretty good death race training. So I'm going to hop into a river that was frozen until very recently, crash my body core temperature, maybe five minutes in the freezing cold river, and then immediately go for a workout. And then I'll let you know how it goes. Hopefully uh, I'll take the camera along for the, for the trip. All right, let's see how it goes. That that is worse worse than any ice bath I've ever done. that bad once things go numb. Uh, pins and needles, pins and needles. We're only a few degrees above freezing. Things are really, really, really sharp. I really don't know how long I should stay in the water, so this is just a guess. Uh, no one brought a defibrillator, so we're going to just go with maybe another minute. A very long minute, a very long minute, but uh, you know, it's, you can really overcome sensations if you just pay attention to them and, and acknowledge what they are. It hurts and it's cold, but that doesn't mean anything other than the fact that it hurts and it's cold. I think. All right, I'm gonna get out in 10 seconds. Stabbing pain is cool, I guess. Um, but I felt pretty good on my joints. I'm 
kind of upset I finished my coffee beforehand. Ugh, things aren't working too well. Um, okay, time to hit the mountain, Matt. I'm gonna grab the camera from you. All right. And I'll meet you back at the barn. Okay. So uh, that's the river I just left. Uh, and there's the mountain. The good news is when you hit an incline right away, you're gonna peg your heart rate and get the blood flowing. I'm pretty sure I saw this on Man vs. Wild. You know, he's always doing push-ups and jumping jacks when he gets out of the freaking rivers. I don't know. Well, I just finished 30 minutes of climbing. Uh, Non-stop, pretty hard tempo. I'm plenty warm, plenty dry, surprisingly. Feel my fingers and I feel my toes. Uh, what do I think about what I just did? I don't know. Maybe I burned more calories because my heart rate was through the roof. So if you have a very limited amount of time to work out, try it. Otherwise, I say just man up and work out twice as long, twice as hard, and skip the ice bath. Maybe I'd like to do a 20 or 30 mile run where every five miles I take a dunk in the stream to drop my temperature and have to get it back up, drop it and back. That might be worth trying. Well, I, uh, 59 minutes, I just finished up my run with some hill repeats and then I uh, cooled down with a nice jog. And uh, I'll talk to you now about a tried and true practice and that is the uh, icing your legs after a hard run. Um, I definitely, hold on, there we go, oh. Oh. Okay. in the water, I, uh, I'm currently uh, just sitting in the river, I, uh, I've been doing ice baths a long time and they're, I think they're important when you up your intensity and your duration in training, uh, post, post workout, never more than 10 minutes climb into an ice bath and it's good for the joints, uh, rushes of the blood, kind of like compression socks. Same idea, makes my joints feel good. So post-workout, I know this is great, climbing into an icy river. Uh, I gotta tell you, the, the whole icy river thing uh, is a bit stigmatized. What's the big deal? Like people make bets all the time. I'm gonna jump into the frozen river. And all I have to say to that is, and I do that on uh, Tuesdays. <laughs> um, it was cold going in before the workout because my core temperature was low, but post-workout sitting in a frozen river, uh, it's actually just kind of pretty. It's a very beautiful day, beautiful thing. Uh, luckily, I'm, uh, I'm only about half mile from the barn, so I'm just gonna jog it on in once I finish up this nice little ice bath. I appreciate you tuning in, and I hope to share some more workouts with you. Take it easy.